Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. If you're new and welcome back if you're returning, this reading is for all Aries in the universe, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. The messages may or may not resonate, this is a general reading. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've done a pre-shuffle already and these cards jumped out so we can jump straight into your reading. So we've got calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. We've got let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. We've got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And we've got extend flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay, so we're going to get some tarot and tap into the energy surrounding this situation. Do you remember that energies can be vice versa or interchangeable? There's no gender in tarot, it's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got the Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Justice, Libra energy, Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands. We've got the Strength card here as well, Leo energy. So I can see here this situation looks like for some of you, you may be getting an offer here. Someone wants to take you out. Someone wants to get together with you here with the Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups. So there's someone that's actually planning on getting together with you here. This person actually wants commitment by the looks of things. And they're actually putting in the work. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. So it looks like um, they had a situation. This is someone that had a situation outside of you. It looks like with that Two of Pentacles here. So it's in reverse. So that indicates that this person has most probably dropped that situation. Because we've got Justice here in reverse. So... There may have been a lack of justice in that situation. This is why this person has chosen to drop that situation now. We've got three of swords as well. So that situation brought in brought on some heart heartbreak. There may have been um deception, you know, lies, cheating going on in that other situation. So that person has chosen to drop that situation. There was heartbreak there. It just wasn't working out. There's too much lies, deception, manipulation. So this person looks like they're focused. They're focused on um, moving on and creating a new opportunity here. A new opportunity for abundance. And that's with you. We've got Queen of Wands here. So it looks like this person, Hierophant in reverse, this is someone that's um, actually, you know, doing their own thing. This, is, this represents someone doing their own thing. They're following their own path, creating their own path. And um, yeah, doing what suits them in alignment with their dreams and goals. This is someone that's um, breaking free from tradition or... Whatever um, institution they were a part of, maybe they were married, for some of you out here, this person was married, they're going for a divorce, yeah, or maybe this person was in a family situation, maybe this person has was in a situation with colleagues, this could be a work situation for this person, but if, whatever it is, this person's feels like they need to be on their own and they're doing that they want to do their own thing 
So maybe if they were part of an organisation, set of friends, work, colleagues, or a marriage, whatever institution they were a part of, that they believed in at, at one point, yeah, this person is um actually changing changing their direction now. They're doing it. They want to do their own thing. It looks like this person's breaking free, breaking free from that life and creating their own path. Yeah, with that strength card as well. They're really determined. They're determined. We've got five of wands here. Five of wands in reverse. Yeah, it shows there was conflict in that situation there. Got the world card in reverse. Three of one, three of pentacles, sorry. In reverse. Yeah, it shows there was conflict in that situation. That's why this person is dropping that situation. They're, they're just um, not investing in that situation no more. They just want to invest on um, what's going to bring them abundance. Whatever situation this person is releasing... Yeah, it just wasn't serving them. There was a lack of justice. There's too much conflict. You know, too much disagreements. Not seeing eye to eye. I mean, if they were in a marriage, they were constantly fighting. There was disagreements. I mean, if this was a work situation and they were working with, with people on a project or friends... Whatever it is, whatever situation it is, this person is releasing releasing that situation. There's too much conflict. People are just not getting along. They're not getting along. It's causing this person inner conflict as well, most probably. So they're just deciding to just do their own thing and just listen to their own guidance. You know? Because it looks like... Um, Whatever it is, it was really just distracting them from their goals, from completing their goals. This person wants to um, start a new beginning, you know. They want to um, move on. But with the world card in reverse, it shows that they are close to starting a new beginning. But these distractions, this other situation they had going on was just holding them back, distracting. That's why they're choosing to just release it. They're releasing that situation. Holding them back. Yeah, three of pentacles. So this is in reverse. So that indicates someone that, that um doesn't want to work as part of a team no more. If this is a work situation, this person wants to do their own thing. You know, it's in reverse. They're just not getting along. If this is a relationship situation, then yeah, this indicates there was a third party. This, this marriage or relationship um, was toxic. There was possibly cheating. There's third party. There's three people involved. This person is just over it. Yeah. Just getting in the way of their dreams right now. This person wants to manifest new abundance. This person is in the energy of manifesting new opportunities that will bring prosperity and abundance. Yeah, they're working on, you know, creating new partnerships here in their life that will bring them, you know, more abundance and happiness. Yeah, their focus is on this Queen of Wands here, Aries energy. You know, some of you are out here looking like a snack. This person can see that you are confident. This radiates throughout from within you. So not only are you beautiful on the outside, you're beautiful on the inside. So that's what makes you stand out even more for this person. I'm telling you, this person is really attracted to you here. And this person, they see abundance with you. Definitely. I feel like this is someone that actually calls you in through prayers. You know, they visualizations they probably look at your pictures a lot of the time they follow you on social media you know they call you in this is someone that feels strongly connected to you spiritually they feel like you are their soulmate and um yeah this is probably someone that you may have telepathic communication with you may have telepathic communication with this person. That's how deep it is. You call each other in. 
you can actually communicate with each other telepathically that's what's going on here this is someone that really feels connected to you here so they're ready to release what no longer serves them release all this emotional pain this situation that's just unbalanced and conflict they're, re they're releasing all these distractions anything that's not in alignment with their abundance and their dreams right now they're releasing that definitely that's what's going on here this person's putting in the work we've got the eight of wands here we've got seven of swords we've got the ace of cups yes brand new beginning in love this is what i'm saying this person is really trying to manifest they are not just trying to manifest they are manifesting new love and abundance in their life by actually taking action and releasing what no longer serves them they're clearing out old energy here old energy and moving on swiftly eight of wands this is like swift action swift movement you know this person now feels like they have the freedom and the space to go for what they want now because they're letting go they've let go of a situation that just wasn't serving them so now they're free this person is free they've got the space and the freedom now to take action on what they really want to manifest take action on their true desires yeah the time is now this person wants to strike while the iron's hot this is fast movement fast moving energy here this person wants to strike while the iron is hot they don't want to let no fear this is not the time for fears or anything to hold you back now yeah the opportunity is now this person feels like the opportunity is here for them now to take action on their desires take action on their goals and their dreams wow this is beautiful seven of swords is in reverse so yeah i feel like this person was keeping secrets but this card is in reverse, so I feel like they want to um, keep it real now. This person um, doesn't want to be deceptive anymore. I feel like it's come to the point where um, this person this person feels like a fraud. You know, like they were just trying to pretend. I feel like this person can't pretend anymore. This is what it is. They were trying to put on a front, you know. Just to make themselves, make them feel like they have power in, in this situation. Try to control the situation by holding back, by being manipulative. But um, they were just putting on a front. This person's, I feel this person's tired of putting on a front now. They want to keep it real, keep it real to themselves. Keep it real to you, to others. Yeah, they want to open up and keep it real. They can't um, front anymore. Their heart is open. This person's heart is open. Ace of Cups. This person is ready to love and be loved. They were putting on a front. Yeah. Trying to be deceptive. But I feel like they can't pretend anymore. This person just they feel like a fraud. Just They started to feel like a fraud. Because um, clearly is sabotage they're just sabotaging their own happiness I feel like this person's realized they're sabotaging their own happiness by just you know keeping up this deceptive behavior they're sabotaging their own happiness they're not really sabotaging your happiness i mean queen of wands this card is in the upright i mean queen of wands you know some of you in some of you are in that energy where you attract abundance to you naturally. You attract you attract um 
yeah, abundance, your dreams, your goals, whatever you put your mind to, whatever you're passionate towards, you manifest, you attract, you achieve, you're confident, you're courageous, you're a go-getter, you know, and then in that in that sense, you naturally attract people to you that will give you more abundance, more love, more prosperity, you know, so your happiness is not affected here because... This is someone that keeps it real with themselves, with others, and you co-create with the universe. Yeah, when you co-create with the universe and you always do right, divine powers will always work for you. Divine powers always works for you when you do right. And so because you do right, you will always be good. You'll always be happy. You'll always be abundant. You'll always be blessed. This person wasn't doing right. This is why their happiness is affected. They're affecting their own happiness. They're sabotaging their own happiness. But they weren't doing right. They were being deceptive here in the situation. Yeah, so they're sabotaging their own happiness here by just being deceptive, putting on a front to play games and whatever it is, and they're just ending up playing themselves. They just feel like a fraud now. And they're tired of that. They're tired of pretending. They want to keep it real and open up. Their heart is open here. This is what I'm getting. So I feel like, yeah, they're ready for a next chapter in their life. They're ready to let go of control issues. So I'm saying they're ready to let go of control issues of that Seven of Swords energy. Yeah. They want to let the situation unfold naturally. So, yeah, they're going to go with the flow. This person is ready to go with the flow now with the Eight of Wands. This is someone ready to go with the flow of the universe. Go in the direction that they are being guided to go in intuitively. Yeah, and follow their heart. This person is following their heart. So, yeah. I feel like you may hear from this person soon with this Eight of Wands energy. You might see them soon or hear from them soon. Yeah, they're definitely calling you in. They're definitely calling you in, mate. This person is manifesting you into their life. So you may know who this is. You may know who this is because, like I said, you may feel their energy, connect with them telepathically. So, yeah, we've got keep an open mind here. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, this person's putting in the work. They're making changes in their life. Eight of Pentacles. They're making the significant changes in their life. We've also got judgment here in reverse. Yeah, this person knows what time it is now. They were holding back, but they know they need to take action. Here, this is, they need to take action on this situation here, yeah, because they know is what they truly want, page of pentacles, this is what they truly want, yeah, two of wands, yeah, so they're making plans, this person is making plans right now, they're working on a plan of action right now to come towards you, to offer you their cup of love, and, uh, yeah, see if you will give them the chance to start again. Have a fresh start with this person. Yeah. Because they see abundance with you. This is someone that really sees abundance and prosperity here with you. They see you shining in your glory. And uh, yeah, they want to be with you. Bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. I'm telling you, this person is coming home. This person is coming home. Four of Wands. It's a time of celebration. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's a time of celebration, you guys. It's over. The dark times are over. This person can put down all the burden. They're ready to release the burdens they were carrying. Yeah, it's time to celebrate. Page of Cups. Yeah. They're coming in, guys. 
they're coming in beautiful reading i hope this resonates with you i hope it gave you clarity and in your situation so i wish you all the best here thank you for watching see you soon